If you're interested in learning to trade on Betfair, then visit the Bet Angel Academy, where you have detailed, structured Betfair trading courses. Or why not visit our website where you can download a free trial of Bet Angel Professional, but also visit the forum where you can get detailed images, examples, and downloadable files. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon if you want notification of new videos as they're released. So I'd like to look at this video, it's a bit older, but we're going to freeze frame it immediately here and have a look at what we see here because there is an unusual pattern. You can see that you know there's a bit of early activity in the market and then the price seemed to get stuck at 2.5. It's not going above 2.5 for absolutely edges and you can actually see uh, this is quite clear because you can see little bumps below uh, the price level at 2.5 and there's nothing above it. Basically whatever's happening in this market the price just does not want to go above 2.5. Now this could be manipulation or it could be somebody using what they call an iceberg order where there's a big amount of money waiting to go in the market at a certain price and every time somebody takes it it's replenished. Um, so whether you view this as manipulation or just somebody trying to get filled um, in, into the market then um, it, you know you can take either of those views but you can see the net effect here and what you're most interested in is that uh, there is little or no price movement here and this carries on for some time and then boom you get a big order come through the market or relatively big in this terms um, and or the money gets pulled at 2.5 and then the price starts to move. So the true direction of this market you can see is, is for a drift for the price to go up um, but it was temporarily held back at 2.5 but the pulling of money and or a large order will very often sort of send that off in one direction and here you can see that direction is very firmly up. So we'll restart the video now so that we can see how the situation develops from here and you'll actually find this is a slightly actually this is actually a slightly older video of Bet Angels. Some um, features uh, that you see in the modern versions aren't in here, uh, but nonetheless, most of what we're discussing here is quite relevant. Incidentally, the scrolling and zooming and panning of charts is available in the advanced charting area of all versions of Bet Angels since we introduced the advanced charts. But what I really want to do here is to focus you in on um, the price activity that is occurring. Uh, on the favorite here. So we'll have a look at the price activity. We'll zoom it in a little bit and um, and get a better view on what we can see is going on here. So the area that I'm watching uh, most intensely in this market is on the favorite and we're looking at the amount of price activity that we're witnessing um, around uh, odds of three. Now we're also looking at the traded range that's next to it as well because we're most interested and how the orders are filling, what influence that is having on the price and therefore if the current price is being supported uh, or whether it will be broken. So you can see at the moment there isn't um, a great deal of activity uh, going on for us um, at the moment within this particular market but what we're doing here is trying to assess you know does the price really want to go back down towards two is there some momentum up to three and if you're looking at this at this particular moment in time and thinking well I haven't got a clue what's going on then join the gang because you can see that uh, there's no activity for me in the market at this particular moment in time I'm just looking at the market trying to make an assessment and when you do this the assessment that you're making isn't necessarily as narrow as what we're looking at here you'll probably be looking at other um, ladders you'll be looking at other charts you'll be trying to understand roughly what's going on within the market but you can see there's a large order that just appeared there at three and there's reasonable amounts of money getting matched at odds of three so that gives us an indication that maybe um, people do uh, want or are happy to lay this at odds of three or above and that's what you're trying to work out you're sort of looking at the market and you're sort of saying well what's going on within this market um, where is the general um, direction within the market what are people generally doing and how is that influencing what the price activity is here so you can see it spent a bit of time going from threes uh, down a bit but basically the pressure is building or it feels like it's building um, for a, a little bit of a push higher but what we're doing is we're waiting for some sort of confirmation of that we're waiting to see some evidence um, that people uh, want to 
continue to lay at three and perhaps they'll they'll lay at higher odds but if you look at the amount of money that's accumulating um, in terms of the money that's being matched at three and three oh five you can see in the right hand column on the ladder here the amount of volume that's there and that's indicating to you that most of the money is getting matched between three and three ten and that um, most of that is beginning to accumulate above those levels and there's very little that's going on below but you can see here there's a slight shift in bias temporarily uh, between 3 and 3.10. So this is quite a critical moment within the market. Is this going to push higher or is it going to push lower? And you can see immediately it pushed higher and the volume started to rise again. So the confidence that the price is going to go up now is increasing because effectively what's happening is there's a lot of money sat at 3.305. So you can see that there. I've just brought up the chart to confirm that. And you can see that it's being replenished regularly. So this feels like and this may be a good opportunity to lay somewhere around three. We also really want to see the second favorite coming in and preferably other runners. So we can see that's beginning to happen on the second favorite. So this looks like a, a reasonable setup for this particular trade. So I've wound the video forward a little bit here. Uh, otherwise you'd have quite a few minutes of me trying to fill in um, while I'm looking for the same <laughs> confirmation of information. But you can see here that there's been 38,000 matched at three, 35,000 matched at 305 and tiny amounts matched at 298. So it sort of formed um, a base which, you know, it would take a bit of effort to get through or you, you would assume it would do. Nothing's impossible, of course. But you can see that there's a lot of people coming in and they're prepared to lay at 3, 305 and other prices above from there. So we've entered the trade at 305. We couldn't quite get in at 3. And um, then we're just sort of riding this position out as it starts to head up. So this is the sort of thing when you're trading order flow that typically um, you're looking for. You're trying to make an assessment on is there momentum for the price to go in one direction or the other? Is there support for that? Are we seeing other activity elsewhere um, that is helping us confirm that that situation is in place? And once you've entered the trade, then you have to consider where would be a reasonable point at which to get out. So you can see as we start heading up into the sort of towards the 350 area, you can see there's been nothing matched um, in or around that area. But also, you know, we're running out of time in this market. So you have to pitch your order somewhere close to the current price activity. So if you uh, watch what I do here, that I'll be looking to uh, close a trade out you know, somewhere around this particular level, I would think, uh, because this is a natural level. Um, at which when you've got limited time you want to get matched. You want to get matched just ahead of the current price action. There's no point in putting it 10-15 ticks away because it's not going to get matched with the amount of time that you've got left. So yeah, we had a fairly sort of clear setup. Um, we were looking for something to occur within that particular market and then we looked for confirmation. And in essence that's typically how you would trade most markets. You're looking for a theme overall that takes place within the market. Then you're looking for confirmation and that your judgment was correct. And, and from that point onwards, you put your trade in um, and then you're looking to manage your position out at the best available price, given the amount of time that you've got left within the market.